Hello and welcome to my uh, hands-on review, or more like, you know, first experience of this game. I only played a little bit of it, and plus we did do some recordings li earlier on Twitch, but they did not record well, so we're kind of doing it again on this part. And yeah, this is uh, me playing Street Fighter V, and right now we're on the menu. And let's see, if you're not familiar with street f any of the Street Fighters, this one is actually very different than the other, because it has a... As a few cool features but it does have the core mechanics of Street Fighter and I mean it has the core mechanics from decades of of, uh, of this known game I mean Street Fighter 4 has been out for oh man for many many years like I said decades so but still I mean they actually built off the core mechanics and now made Street Fighter 5 which is uh which is pretty pretty good I mean I have to admit the the fighting style is good the controls are tight. I only played a little bit of it, so right now let's just uh, get through this. And right now let's just uh, go quickly through the menu. And right here is the story mode. Of course, you get to play uh, stories between each each of the characters. There's a um, there's a range of let's see here very quick. Let's go through story, character story, and there's a range of all these characters you can play. There's from favorite uh, old school characters to Returning characters, normal characters, and also four completely new characters, which are here to, you know, to intertwine with their own destinies here in Street Fighter. And usually it's just becoming the best fighter in the whole entire world, or taking over the planet, depending on what character you pick, what protagonist or villain. So, um, but the thing is, with this story mode, I noticed that the stories are incredibly short, and they're also one-round matches, which is, um, I mean... You could beat it with every character in a matter of, of a few hours. So, I mean, if you want to, we could double check on the story right now very quick. And uh, let's see if we can get through this. Uh, let me see. I had a lot of fun, fun playing with Zangief because of his uh, V-Trigger. And the difference between the V-Trigger, I noticed that it replaces the Ultra, the Ultra Meter. And the thing is, the V-Trigger is different between each character. One, it could be a combo extender. One could be a buff. One could be a power up. It just all depends on the character, which is cool because you could use it as a strategy, you know, like, like a mechanic as a defense or offense. Like I said, depending on what character you choose. So that's uh, that, that's kind of cool. That kind of brings something new to the table, you know. So um, let me see. Let me uh play first with uh. If he keeps moving let's forward. do Ken again. So we'll try this. It'll only be uh, a a few a few minutes before I even like beat this. Light. So. Are you sure this is okay? And also with this story Should mode, it really gives like a little animation uh, section from the, in the beginning, so that's Any other day it's cool. I mean, the stories aren't Today all deep or anything. Start. Before the game came out, I heard that the stories yeah, were going to be, you know, top-notch, this and that, Strong but supposedly they're going to uh, come up with an add-on within a few a months, and these add-ons are going to have animations, they're going to have a full story ending, so... I think this is more like like a taste of what's to <laughs> come in the game. So, and here's ends. an example of uh, the but intro of each character, kind of a cartoon slide it's thing. Been like this since the beginning. You fight well, but why do you fight? Are you just fighting for money, for fame, or do you like the attention? I fight because there's a man I have to defeat. Until that day comes, I won't ever stop. All right, we'll just skip that. You got the idea. <laughs> Check this out, Eliza. <laughs> and if you remember their skins, this is from actually uh, Street Fighter Alpha. And if you play any of the Street Fighters, the core mechanic is there. I mean, you could pick this up very quickly. You can see right there the usual like can with this flaming punch. I'm gonna win the next one. And like I said, these are one bout matches, which is kind of weird. I mean, this game doesn't even have an arcade have mode, which is way. very, yeah. I don't know, it's not normal. And that's exactly why it would have been a good idea to let the butler guide us. And usually this story has to do with fighting. I mean, which with every character, when they greet you, they want to fight you. So it's like, of course, this game is all about fighting. And if you've if you bought Street Fighter for the story, then you're in it for all the wrong reasons, obviously. It's all about competitive before? matching. What? Who thought he cares? 
And also, like in every Street Fighter, it's also uh, a critical attack as well. Let me see if I can pull this guy off right here. Let me get his life a little bit down. And of course, you can see uh, Ken's B trigger when I. There's a. There's a meter right there at the bottom that says V. Once I press it, it does like a dashing move, which also could be a combo extender, which could do maximum damage. And you gotta love the Unreal 4 engine. I mean, it just looks beautiful, especially in Ultra HD. I could swear I've seen you around somewhere before. Well, give or take 200 pounds. <sighs> you gate crashing piece of rubbish. Ooh, call me rubbish. I'm oh, hell you, no. We're on the guest list. Look, it's legit. See, like I said, Welcome in this game, in order to say hi, it's like pretty and much they gotta punch you in the well. face. That's like very respectful I'm in this so universe here. Make it. Thank you for inviting us, Miss Karin. Oh, it seems there's been a lack of etiquette. To make amends, would you accept a pre-meal match? You see, lack of etiquette, and then she wants to fight you. That's kind of hypocritical, okay, but see what you've got. I mean, this game is all I'm about sure fighting, so who this. cares? Fighting a man of your prowess. And I really do need to practice some more. And I need to hit that on the mark as well. There, right in the stomach. Oh, Daddy. Oh. Oh, did you wake up? <laughs> I'll have someone take you. And there you go. That's the whole story right there. I finished it almost less than five minutes. So you could pretty much do that with each character. And some characters only have two enemies to fight so I mean it's already 100% so that's I mean like I said this game right now all I have for you is pretty much the competitive match so we could double check that right now and with more on the menu there's a survival mode which is pretty much one uh, bout matches as well and it's just uh, they just throw enemy after enemy at you I mean that's like the closest thing to arcade mode which really isn't but they're going to add stuff each month, and each add-on is going to be for free, supposedly, so that's going to be cool. And here's challenges. It's going to be a daily challenge where they'll give you an obstacle to overcome or to achieve, and they'll give you more uh, points. Points towards your character, points towards your prestige, or whatnot. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And it says right there, um, let's see if I could, uh, yeah, this will be a little free update in March, so that's incomplete. And of course your training. Now the training is pretty cool because you could actually uh, record your moves with uh, with your opponent or yourself to actually make like a, some sort of scenario. So you could, you know, if you're if you have trouble with a scenario with the character, you can actually practice, you know, either blocking it or getting out of it, which is pretty cool actually. That's that's like a key to training here. And also battle settings. This is pretty much battle like a, your your battle card. You know how you want it to look like when uh, I think when somebody. Uh, you know wants to battle you they can see your card you can see your title like you could probably have like a little a little one-liner you know or something I will break you you know I never even listen to these damn one-liners I mean they don't, they don't even come from from the actual person they're just pre-made one-liners so I never pay attention to those and also there's a shop and the shop could contain I think either uh, cosmetic items or uh, other battle cards as well and of course it won't be available till March as well and here's a Capcom Fighters Network. Pretty much it's just a more in-depth detail of the network for searches. And also you could do replays and favorites. Haven't really touched this yet, so I'm about to get into that eventually. 
and battle lounge. Of course, you could open your own room, uh, invite your own friends, play along, play against each other. Ranked matches, here's is where it gets competitive. Here's pretty much the bread and butter of the game. With here, depending on how you fight, win or lose, it will actually pit you against the same level of, you know, of, um, of opponents that you fight with, obviously. And casual match, win or lose, doesn't matter. You don't uh, gain points, you don't lose points. It's pretty much all practice. So let's uh, let me try casual that for a second. Match. All right, let's do this. Battle settings, uh, search, and I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. But oh well, it's all it's all for science. It's all for gaming. Nice. I didn't even get to choose my character. This is the path of my destiny. Ooh, he got the burly Ryu. This is the path of my destiny. Round one. Fight. Adorkin. Yeah. That's what he said. Adorkin. 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 All right, there you go, and I got my uh, ass kicked on the first online match, as you can see there. I do need a lot of practice. I actually want a joystick. This controller is a little bit too um, too compact for me. I can't really pull, you know, the same stuff I did back in the past. But I don't want to put any excuses. I mean, hell, I should just practice with whatever I got. But eventually, I will get a, a joystick, a professional joystick, at least. But um, so there you have it for now. I mean, this is just a little taste of what I've gotten throughout the whole game. And tomorrow we're going to have a little exhibition match. We're going to do a little more hands-on that with a little more competitive mode. I'll be going against my uh, my partner in crime here in the gaming world, Shinke De. He's the champion of all of Guadalajara, supposedly, or in his neighborhood. He's like the champion there. So, um, and I'm the, well, I was going to say I was, I'm the champion here, but in my own mind. But obviously I got my ass kicked. And then, I mean, it's, I do need the practice that you can see there. It looks like. Look like a fish out of water. I was just flopping around, you know, trying to hit the guy. So like I was saying, this is a pretty much just a quick run through. So, um, and yeah, well, if you're with me, uh, thanks for watching. If you want to comment on anything, please do so. And we're going to put some more stuff out there for you. So, yeah, thank you very much. And hopefully I will see you soon. All right, peace out. And this is Carlos Charlie Munguia signing off. Late.